and today we have another K-Beauty slash J-Beauty haul, except for today is not just going to be beauty. We also have a lot of other cute stuff like some fashion items and some stationery type things, just a little bit of everything. So once again, all of this stuff comes from Yes Style. It's like Dolls Kill. It's like right up there with like one of the websites that I'm always obsessed to look at. One of the websites I check every day. Also, excuse my face, I feel like my makeup turned out like kind of jacked today. Like the eyes look superb, but the foundation, I don't know. It's just, it's not laying on right today, but it is what it is. Let's just move forward. Very first item I have today is a sack of lemons. I don't know why it came in a sack of six. It's supposedly just hand lotions. Stuff like this just amuses me. Whoa, that smells very lemony. It's almost like a household cleaner lemon smell. Just something about lemons just makes me think of Lysol. Six things of identical lemon hand lotion. It was on sale. It was like on super clearance. I just couldn't resist the mini lemon. Next up we have something that I hope the battery is going to be inside of it. I thought that this would be great not only for decor but also fabulous Instagram selfies. So this is a rainbow lamp. It looks like a big white bean and you pop it open and it's got, I don't know, like a mirror thing in there. Nothing's happening. No batteries. I thought it needed a very specific type of battery, but it's just literally double A. Let me see if I can kick off some more of these lights. We can sit very creepily in the dark. I don't know how, oh, look at that. It's like instant rainbow highlight. Okay, this is just horrifying. So there's that. <laughs> it's making a pattern on the ceiling. It's probably not really meant to just like shine in your face, to be honest. It's like more of a decor kind of thing uh, because there's like a timer that you can set it on. So I think you can use it as like a night lamp or, you know, almost like a sleep aid or something. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, we have that. Next, I should turn the light on. Is this cool? I kind of don't know. I almost feel... Like, it looks cooler in here, but maybe that. Up next is a camera. And this is the Disney Sum Sum Instax Mini Camera. I have decided I'm obsessed with these things now. I'm not so far away ago. What was I even trying to say? Not so recently. They also had a Hello Kitty one, which I got a couple of months ago, and it's so cute. It's just like an Instax camera, but with a fabulous Hello Kitty shape. So I have that one, and I was like, you know what? I need to expand on my collection. It is a Instax camera in the shape of Mickey Mouse, and it comes with a special strap too. It's just got a ton of the different Sum Sum characters on it. And then I think there's even more different ones on this side. I of course see the Toy Story alien. That's the one that sticks out to me. I love those little guys. I did order some film as well. And um, it's not Disney themed, but I love Rilakkuma as well. So I think that there's 10 different sheets of film in here and it has a different Rilakkuma design. Up next, we have some little hair doodaddies and I'm gonna just refer to these as the instant clickbait. It's like you don't even have to put the red arrow in the thumbnail because you can just put this in your head and look at that bam click on this i think they kind of have a little bit of motion too looking good and then this one is a question mark i think you could pick red or yellow. Up next, I have a couple of iPhone X phone cases. They have a ton of cute phone cases on that website and most of them are surprisingly cheap. I think the most expensive one I've ever ordered off of there was like $10. Most of them are like $5 and below. They have very cute ones and very strange ones. Like a very strange one is this one with this weird kid on it and it says first time tasting sour. It's just so odd. I 
habit habit. And then you have this one, which is just ye old hexagonal hollow glitter. And it's just a nice rubbery. I love the rubbery flexible cases, honestly. And then I have this one, which is a coin. It's like a plastic coin, obviously. It's like a Mardi Gras coin, but it looks really cool. It's got like silver flecks in it. And I think they had a couple of different color options too. You could get like a gold coin, a silver coin, a rose gold coin, but I'm a silver kind of gal. Up next, I have a couple of these cute little mini wallets. I think that they are coin wallets actually, but they match the makeup bag that I showed you guys in last video, which y'all loved that item so much. Also, I'm putting together a giveaway of like K-Beauty, J-Beauty stuff, like all kinds of stuff like this. So stay tuned. I think like I just ordered a bunch of items for the giveaway. And so I think that they should be here by the time I do the next one of these hauls, which I'm doing these like once a week right now. You guys know how I just like get obsessed with stuff. One of them is pink and she's got a little lollipop and it says pop on it. These are just such cute little designs and you open it up and it's actually like a little wallet. You could put credit cards or coins or cash or whatever. This one I really loved because it said life is nice and she looks like she's doing a gymnastics routine and then they both have the same kind of design on the back with a flamingo pool floaty i got a couple more little zipper bags as well i'm trying to have a more organized life in 2018 so i'm trying to keep like receipts and gift cards and like everything kind of like separated in my purse but this one is so cute i have no idea what this says on the front ben ben joy ben toy I don't know what that is. I love the little tassel on the side because it's like a transparent plastic. And then the glitter actually shifts around in there. All right, next is a little keychain coin purse. And once again, it has a little cute tassel on the side and it's a smiley face. You open it up, you could put, I don't know, like a key in it. Mostly it's just obviously for change loose change up next i have a couple of packages of flake stickers i feel like i'm really into these lately and they had a ton of cute junk food related ones well this one is actually called breakfast so we have eggs toast jam milk they have a really nice feel to them it's like a papery texture these are junk food themed so you have popcorn ice cream candy i really love the chocolate bar waffles pancakes cakes ice cream sundaes cupcakes we also have some cute little molang notes so it's a little notepad she says hello also an incredibly adorable miniature keychain this is so tiny and it has a really cool kind of like iridescent look to it but i don't know if you guys are gonna be able to read it or not but it says something unicorn it said something funny i believe in unicorn baby tell me please i don't know what the rest of that means sippy sippy up next, I have a keychain that I thought was so adorable. And there is a puppy in our life. I have to make a video with him, about him. But I think that that's why I had this in mind. And it actually works. I took it out of the packaging once already. But it's just a little bell keychain. But this puppy is just like so attentive you might have already seen him if you follow me on snapchat i feel like snapchat always gets like the little sneaky peekies of everything this might be the last stationary type thing i have i don't know i've got a bag down here so there might be more but um i love this thing it's called a pizzicato diary i guess that's just the brand name but you guys know not only do i love alligators i also love frogs as well and they had a couple different designs for this like a couple different animals oh yeah you can see them down here there's a bunny a frog a cat and a dog and the frog's name is zika zika really tiny down here but it's like a planner well, it's not like, well, it is kind of like a planner. There aren't really that many planner pages in it. You have these things which are kind of like overviews, like monthly overviews. 
and you can really use it any year because you go through and you fill in the dates yourself um, and you can actually like circle the number up here for whatever month you're going to use it for and then you go back here and there's just pages and pages of um like little lined note sections and it has the different characters all over it and it goes season by season it's so cute like a vast majority of this notebook is just um like grid paper at the back and then the little line sheets with the cute animals on it. Now we are into some beauty products. I ordered some more of those Dr. Jart Shake Shot masks like we recently tried for First Impression Friday. So I got the same one one more time which is the Shaking Rubber Elastic Shot. So that's the purple and orange one and then I got two new types to try out as well. This one is the Rubber soothing shot which I think I need desperately right now I think that's why my foundation did not lay on very smoothly my skin is very dry at the moment and then we have a luminous shot which has this really cool orange face at the top I really liked trying this thing and they are not incredibly expensive they're less than ten dollars which for a dr jart face mask is really not that bad because if you buy the rubber sheet masks and stuff from sephora i think that they are way more expensive so i got a couple of facial cleansing washes this is a relatively new brand that i've been trying but i have been loving them the first bottle of cleanser that i got from them is green tea but these are just such fascinating products so they're called neogen dermalogy i don't know um but they make a foam and they have whatever the ingredient is in the bottom so this one is called cereal and i'm not a hundred percent sure what that means um but i don't know it was just so funny to me to just be like oh we're foam some cereal on our faces. I mean, I'm sure it's just like grains and oatmeal and all kinds of stuff like that that's beneficial for the skin, but you can actually see the ingredient in the bottom. I love the green tea one and it's really cool. It has leaves down in the bottom. So I wanted to try the cereal one and then this one, which is blueberry. And it looks so pretty because it's kind of a dark bluish purple. And it's so funny because there's literally like 10 blueberries knocking around in the bottom down there this one's pretty dark so i don't know if you're gonna be able to see the ingredients like flying around in there but they're there i got gold raccoonie patches i feel like i've seen these so much on instagram over the ages so these are 60 eye patches and 30 spot patches and the packaging is adorable by the way these are like little miniature face masks for your under eye area and then uh let's open them up so you guys can actually see them i will go ahead and take one out to show you guys because i won't be able to tip it all the juice is is in there um so you just pick up these thin little masks and you just lay them on under your eye area Ooh, they are so sparkly and they feel so cool on my skin i mean not only do they feel cool but they feel very cooling but then you get the little center ones in the middle so you know if you're having some kind of like trouble area you can just pop pop the little center which i appreciate oh see what i meant I can't tip it. I just spilled the juice everywhere. Up next is something that I have reordered already. It is the Real Q10 SNP Hand Cream and very cute packaging. Once again, I think that this is less than $10, but it's just a intensive reparative hand cream. So important this time of year. It's almost clear, but it definitely feels like a water-based gel and it sinks into the skin immediately and it really works wonders. If you've got really dry, chapped hands, give this a try. You're gonna love it. I have a couple of makeup brushes brushes. I don't remember what the brand of this one is and it has raccoon juice all over it now so it's gonna need to be washed. I think that this was just like a generic brand that they have on the website. It's not like you know the face shop or something like that but it was so pretty I did not want to pass it up and I think it was like less than four dollars. So we have a beautiful purple bristle there and a rose pink frarule and it feels like, I mean, it's not 
the softest. I'm just like rubbing it because I know I'm gonna have to wash it anyway before I use it. But if you feel the bristles on the side, it doesn't feel like it's gonna be that soft, just being honest. But then the actual like application surface area, I don't know. I'm looking forward to trying it out. And I mean, it's like $4, so it's pretty. I don't know. The other one is like a brand, which I think I've seen sometimes at like Asian superstores when I've been in LA before. The brand is Can Make and it is a soft cheek brush, but it just kind of reminded me of strawberry shortcake. Doesn't it just look like a dessert in a box? The handle is actually like a lot prettier than it even looked on the website. It's kind of like a pearlescent look to it. Look at that. And this kind of looks like a pink. Yeah, it is like a light pink shade. I couldn't tell if it was pink or purple. And then you have, whoa, this is super soft. Now I do think that this one was a little bit pricier, maybe between 15 to $19, but the bristles feel amazing. I just wanna keep petting it. Up next, we have a very adorable Snoopy lip balm. And please ignore the raccoon -y juice. I spilt it all over everything. So uh, it's a really cute illustration of Snoopy. I don't know if it's called baby Snoopy. Doesn't Snoopy look like a baby there? Or maybe I'm just thrown off because Charlie Charlie Brown looks like a baby. I don't know. Um, Dogman loves Snoopy and I feel like in turn I've started to love Snoopy. I think that the website said that this was going to be vanilla scented. I bought it for the packaging obviously not gonna lie. Um, just a cute little Snoopy motif all over it but they had a couple of different um, scents and bottle colors but they had different designs. I don't know. I just thought that this one was the cutest. I'm just going to try and squeeze up just a little bit so I can smell it. Honestly, it doesn't smell like anything, but sometimes I think that it's more beneficial when a product doesn't have a lot of fragrance anyway. Very, very cute. And you guys know I always need like chapstick, lip balm, Whew, constant need. Up next is the Baby Face Blusher. I think it's from It Skin. That's the brand. What a kind of creepy sounding brand. You guys see that? No, because the camera won't focus. How cute is the packaging? I wish you got to keep the little angel wings, but unfortunately that's just the plastic wrapper, but it does still have this really cute little angel face on it. Um, and I can see that there's like a little mini poof in here. Not often do you see products anymore that come with these little <laughs> magical puffs. I feel like that's such a rare thing to see. Like nobody applies makeup like that anymore. Do you know what I mean? Uh, that's more like aesthetic for me than functional really. So this is shade three and it looks like a vibrant pink shade inside of the pan. Sometimes K-Beauty products like this though can be deceiving and the color turns out to be not that dark. And this is kind of the case as well. I feel like the look for K-Beauty and J-Beauty is extremely natural. So you don't get like a lot of super pigmented. Um, I don't know, I feel like the lips are often really pigmented, but I feel like with blush and stuff like that, like I don't think I've ever gotten like a K-Beauty, J-Beauty product that's a blusher that's like super like what I'm wearing today. Uh, but it's still very natural and very pretty. And honestly, it is a little bit darker than some other products that I've gotten. Up next, we've got a product that I bought it without really 100% knowing what it was or what it was gonna smell like, but it was so intriguing to me. I decided let's let's get it, let's order it. Let's smell it together. It is from um, Etude House, which is a really famous uh, K-Beauty brand, I believe. It is from a Wonder Fun Park collection, and this is a hair perfume mist. I think it's pouring in rain outside. Now looking at it, I can see that it's kind of got like an oily texture. So maybe there are like some nutrients or some kind of conditioning properties in here. Wow, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna swish it again. Hope the camera focuses so you guys can see. It looks so pretty in the bottle. Oh, right up the nose. Wow. It really does kind of smell like a carnival funhouse kind of smell. Almost like cotton candy, 
sugary but there's also like something kind of salty in it as well it's almost like literally if you mix the smells of popcorn and cotton candy and bottle it that's what you're gonna get and I'm not gonna lie it sounds very nasty but I really like it I'm totally gonna be using this consists of two layers the moisture layer provides instant moisture to dry hair and the oil layer provides conditioning function and effective oil to hair be sure and shake it before you use it I have an adorable makeup bag it's like a rose pink color and I love this little logo on it it says neon moon so it's got glitter infused in it and a little unicorn keychain. I feel like it's really spacious. I think that this was around four to five dollars. So once again, I feel like you can get like a lot of good priced things, but that are like actual good products. Do you know what I mean? Up next is something I posted on Snapchat the other day, the other day, and so many people saved that snap. I was honestly surprised. So it's these little water bottle earrings, and they just look like little miniature bottles of Evian and if you look on the site and you type in like water bottle earring there's several different styles of water I got Evian just because I liked the blue label but I think they have like red which is like vulvic water something like that so cute they just look like two tiny little miniature water bottles adorable also I got this bookmark which looks like a UFO and I just thought that that was really cute. It's just like a little thin piece of plastic. But once again, all this stuff is like under $5. So I had these, which I showed you guys on Snapchat the other day as well. They're like little post-it tabs. And they're all frogs with different cute little frog faces. These post-it notes as well. And it's called Shore. They have a bunch of different ones that look like different um sceneries paintings and so it kind of reminded me of the count of monte cristo so that's why i picked these ones the other stationary type item because you guys i am so obsessed with hoodie ryan now it's like my new obsession and so i got this planner as well i don't know if i'm kind of the only person i know i'm not who uses multiple planners for different things saying that out loud kind of seems like it doesn't make any sense but I don't know. Um, so I thought that this one was so cute. It has interchangeable, I think somewhere in here. Oh my gosh, I didn't even know it comes with stickers. Stickers back here. But I think somewhere, oh yeah, here it is. Um, I left it in the box. I was about to throw it away. So it comes with these little mini calendars as well for the front of the diary and um ryan has different expressions for every month oh my gosh it's different characters that's so cute but it's like a little mini pull out calendar wait okay let's find august let's see oh it's the peach oh my gosh look that's dog man's okay and then it's just a really cute planner on the inside it's much more like planner centric than the other one i showed you guys because this one is just specifically for this year and like the whole way through it's just week by week with like larger writing spaces like this is definitely the type of planner i would use to you know like schedule out what videos i'm filming and all kinds of stuff like that and then there are note sections in the back as well so it's kind of like multi-purpose once again. I don't know. I love like stationary planner type things. I have another Hoodie Ryan product and you guys know I'm obsessed with hand lotions lately. So we got another one and it is from the Face Shop collab. Again, I showed you guys like a bigger um, Hoodie Ryan lotion last time, which was also from the Face Shop brand, but I already opened this. The scent is Sweet Grape and it is so intense grape smelling so if you don't like grape this one is not gonna be a thing this is more of like a traditional thicker cream lotion um instead of like the one i showed you guys a little while ago up next is kind of a random item but definitely something that i have been wanting lately for the camera that i'm filming with now it is a camera strap it's like a really cool looking leopard design just like a really traditional leopard camera strap but i don't know something i needed so i snabbed it 
nabbed it. Snab is not a word. Oh my gosh, I have another hand lotion in here. You guys, I wish they had more of this collection still on the website because it looked so pretty and I feel like I missed out and this is like one of the only products that they have left. This was from the Pearly Night collection and it's from Piri Pira and I will link you guys to the other K-Beauty, J-Beauty hauls down below because if you guys remember the first one that I did, I had all these products that looked like they were in a little miniature suitcase and it's from the same brand. So so pretty famous K-Beauty brand, but this is Girls Perfume Hand Cream in the scent Girls Cotton. I don't know what that means. Once again, I was pretty much just intrigued by the packaging. I love the light blue color with the shiny hollow stars. It almost smells like a baby powder scent. Honestly, I did just put some of that super grape smelling stuff on though. So I think my nose is like, what are you trying to make me smell? Last beauty product is a face mask, which I might end up doing for First Impression Friday because it looked so different. So this is the Glam Rock Abracadabra Mask by Too Cool For School. Once again, big K-beauty brand. They actually sell that brand in Sephora as well, but it's just a eye mask but not like the one I showed you guys earlier it actually like goes over your nose and stuff like a full mask and on the website it looked like it was made of lace so I don't know if it's just like a lace print or if it's actually like one of those I forget who came out with like an actual lace face mask it was like Givenchy or something but I don't know I'm kind of curious up next are some fashion things they have a ton of clothes on the website but I had never ordered any clothes before because sometimes when you buy um like Asian fashion products they tend to be like smaller size like I feel like I always in my mind I'm like oh I need to like order a large because I feel like they have much different sizing over there so uh let's get into it this certainly can't be the wrong size and it's almost too pretty to open is that kind of like a stupid thing to say I don't know why I enjoy packages like this where the items are just sealed inside forever Ooh, uh, so much prettier in person than even on the website they are like shiny crew socks Oh, they had so many different colors, but I just picked a blue and gray combo. Now, this feels like a lot softer on the inside than the outside, but I mean, they're definitely like fashion socks, so you probably wouldn't like wear them with your Reeboks or something, but so pretty. I think they had like an orangey pair as well, and I think I'm gonna have to go back and order those too. Next thing that I got, of course I got this, and you guys, I was so torn with whether I was gonna pick this or not, but I kept just, it was like one of those items that just stuck with me. I just kept thinking about it. I don't know. Um, it's a giant tote bag. Well, it's not giant. It's like kind of medium size in the tote bag world, but it's like perfect for overnight trips and stuff like that. But it says 1990 and I don't know why it says 50%. Just be yourself, but it's spacious. And it's like a more canvasy kind of fabric on the inside and a nylon fabric on the outside. It doesn't have anything on the back. It has a nice little loop because it does come with a strap as well. So you can carry it as like a sling bag or a shoulder bag. But I don't know. I think it's really very cute and I'm excited. You guys, this first one is wild it was just another item that i couldn't stop thinking about and everything about this is so crazy okay first of all the brand is elf sack i don't even know what that's supposed to mean i'm the elf who are you more like who is the elf because that just sounds kind of creepy and disturbing but this is honestly like super high quality this was not incredibly cheap i will just tell you that but it is very unique and it feels Great. I think I ordered a size medium, so it's honestly perfect, but it's just like a crazy nylon satin, like bomber style hot pink jacket. Nah, it's more like, I don't know, it's coming through kind of like baby pink, I think, on the camera, but it's more of like a rosy hot pink in real life. It came in the weirdest bag ever. Look at this bag that it came in. It's got like all these weird animal people and this dude with an elephant nose up next i got another jacket 
And once again, this was just something I kept seeing on the website and I was like, do I need it? Am I gonna like it? I don't know, but I took a stab at it and I'm glad I did. Now this I ordered in a size large and I think the brand was Moon City. As usual, I will link you guys to everything down below. Um, Cause all this stuff has like, just like random names to it. I feel like it would be so hard to find like if I don't link you to it directly. But it is a denim jacket with a fleece lining and I just really loved the kind of like grayscale fleece. I think you could get this in like normal denim color as well but I opted to get this kind of like super dark black wash denim and I really like it. Now this I got in a large because on the website they showed the model wearing it kind of like oversized and I love oversized fit stuff. So it's really warm and it's very cute and I just like cuffed the sleeves but you don't have to. So far so good. I'm quite impressed with the clothing items. So the next thing is kind of a joke, honestly. There's a lot of clothes on the website that just have like the funniest words and phrases on the on on the item. I don't really know what it means. And this is the butter sweater. <laughs> so it's just a fuzzy, fleecy hoodie and it's got like a little pocket section in the front, but it says butter on it. I don't know what that means. They had a couple of different colors. I liked the black and white one best. Actually like surprisingly pretty thick. Like I would think this would keep you pretty warm. And I think I probably got a large, again, it doesn't say on here what size it is, but I always opt for like medium or large and everything. This I got a large in and it's pretty cute. It's a corduroy dress. So it's long sleeve, has buttons down the front, a little collar, and then it's got, let me see if I can back up far enough so you guys can see the whole thing. I don't know what it was about this. Like, I feel like sometimes you just see how it's modeled on the website and you're like, oh my gosh, that's adorable. And I feel like that's kind of what I felt with this little guy. I feel like I would definitely like layer this with other things or kind of like punch it up to make it like a little bit more funky. It's definitely like a very different fashion pick than things I would normally gravitate to. But I don't know, once again, like I just, the corduroy feels nice. It's not too thick, which is generally perfect for around here because normally it's not cold and it's not snowing. And then here is the last fashion thing and the last item and I'm hoping that this is gonna fit. Um, it is a plaid skirt. It fits. So this is a super cute plaid skirt and it's supposed to just look like you have a shirt that you made into a skirt. I'm trying to turn it the right way because obviously it's supposed to have like a sleeve on either side. Here I am trying to figure out how to put on clothes. Anyway, it's got these sleeves and it just looks kind of funky and really cute. I like how it's like asymmetrical and kind of all over the place. Clearly it is a little bit on the short side so you probably would want to wear shorts underneath it but I can definitely see myself wearing this quite frequently. This item was literally like $14, um, but it's like really good fabric. I don't know, it has really nice form to it in my opinion. I think I probably ordered this in a medium or a large. I don't know, some of the skirts and bottoms only come in one size, which is kind of scary. That's it, and I know this video has been crazy long, so I'm just gonna go ahead and go. I hope you guys have been enjoying these kind of like K-beauty, J-beauty things, and I think I'm gonna have more clothing items Items coming next time so we might have more of that kind of stuff to look at as well but I hope you guys are having an awesome week and I will see you all again tomorrow if you're not already and you'd like to be hit that button down below subscribe become a member of the swamp family and give an alligator its wings also if you want you can like me on facebook facebook.com slash graveyard girl or you can follow me on twitter tumblr or instagram at graveyard girls same way it's spelled here I love you guys so so much and I will see you all tomorrow bye